Are you looking for a new smartphone gimbal? Well, today I'm testing five different options to see if any of these are any good. So when it comes to a smartphone gimbal, there's a few things that you need to consider. First, and probably the most important out of any factor is how stable is the footage. Now beyond that, when it comes to smartphone gimbals, you basically have your experience working with the handle and like all the buttons, and then also the app, because all these gimbals have an integrated app and all of them have kind of a different experience. And then one other thing you need to consider is can you add other pieces of gear onto the gimbal and still use it? So what I'm thinking is external lenses, so a wider lens. All right, guys, I'm gonna pause right here. This is actually my third smartphone gimbal shootout. I've done two previous similar kind of videos. So we're gonna see how these gimbals perform, and then we're going to figure out what is a good option if you're interested in getting a smartphone gimbal. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Jevin Dovey. I do a ton of filmmaking tutorials, product reviews. I also do a lot of YouTube training, if that's the kind of thing you're into. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss one of these videos videos. All right, back to the gimbal review. Okay, so we're gonna go one by one and I'm just gonna give you some details about each gimbal as I show you the footage that we're getting. Like I said, the most important thing is how stable is a gimbal. And I got Jesse here to help me out. He's going to do some walking while we film him and see how good the footage really is. And the first one that we're gonna start with is the Freevision. And I think the Freevision gimbals are pretty awesome. I have two of them here that we're gonna be working with. One is the SE, which is kind of a smaller, lighter version. And then we have the Pro, which is a little bit more beefier, kind of like the Smooth 4, built definitely for more like a filmmaker kind of setup. So let's start with the SE. Ugh. It needs to update. <laughs> course. Now one tip whenever you're working with gear is always make sure that things are updated before you go out and shoot. Good thing is I have decent Wi-Fi here, but there are situations where you don't necessarily have Wi-Fi and then it might brick your device if you don't update it. So update those products. I'm going to let this footage play just so you guys can see how good the footage is coming out of camera. I'm shooting this all without the stabilizer turned on because you really need to see how smooth the gimbal is. If you have the stabilizer turned on, it's gonna hide some of the movements that happen with these gimbals. Hold the camera up high. It's cool, it's following you wherever the camera goes. And it's also got tracking features so you can track an object or you can track a person. And as you can see here, the tracking does work pretty well on this gimbal. So when it comes to this gimbal, it's a much simpler setup than the other gimbals. What's kind of nice is that for buttons, you basically have your power button, you have your joystick, which allows you to go in all directions. You have your gear icon, which is basically going to manual mode. And then on the side, you have your zoom. Now as a whole, this gimbal is fairly simple to use, very easy setup. And that's one thing that I like about it is that it is so easy to use. So with this gimbal, this is one that is set up for people who want to do vertical video shooting. So you can easily flip it and then you can use the tracking feature and you can do vertical like if you want to do Instagram shooting or Snapchat, whatever vertical videos that you're going to make. Now we're going to pause this video right here because I just wanted to tell you that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites to online stores to marketing tools, Squarespace has got you covered for anything that you need when it comes to building your own website. And yes, I do use Squarespace when I build out my website, Jevendovi. Com. The reason is it's super easy to use. It's just drag and drop. They have a ton of awesome designs and templates that makes it super easy to use. And I think a website is essential for any creators out there, anyone who's looking to have a hub where you can send people to, to either sell your products or just have a place where people can find out more information about you. So guys, head over to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, make sure you use my code, Jevin Dovey for 10% off your first purchase. All right, let's get back into the gimbal review. All right, so the second one that we're gonna look at is the Fiutech Vimble number two. 
So this is an interesting one. It's similar to the Free Vision one where it's ultra simple. There's not a ton of buttons on this one. It's not like a crazy advanced gimbal. And it also does the vertical horizontal for social media shooting. But what's cool about this one is that you have this stick that comes out and you don't have to carry around an extra like selfie stick so you can get a wider shot of yourself. Walking down some stairs, I think the whole purpose of this gimbal is to do these kind of selfie shots and be able to get yourself without having to like hold your arm super far out. Which is kind of nice actually. What do you think, Jesse? Looks good to me. Whoa. So I'm basically rebalancing this because it was really jittery footage. And what you want to do is make sure that it's balanced on both axes, up and down. So in terms of the layout of this gimbal, you have your joystick, you have your camera record, you have a zoom function, which zooms in and out, and then you have a trigger on the back, which I like the trigger design on gimbals because what that basically allows you to do is when you hold this, it locks it so it doesn't move in any direction. So you're more free to move around and then you lock it if you want to hold a shot. So I do like the trigger on this one. In terms of the layout, like I said, it's super simple. Now I'm definitely having some issues tracking with this and I don't really understand what the problem is. Face tracking seems to work when it's facing you, but tracking objects, I'm just not able to get it to work right. Overall, it's, it's all right. I wouldn't say it's my favorite so far. letting me track you at all. All right, so the next one that we're gonna be reviewing is the Free Vision Pro. So this is the Vilta Pro, and the difference is this one's made for people who want to have full control over your camera because you have a bunch of buttons. So you have buttons all over this gimbal, and you have a focus wheel, so you have a focus zoom wheel, which this actually works very well compared to the Smooth 4 if you've ever seen that gimbal. Now, in terms of the button layout, you have access to things like exposure compensation, ISO, white balance, you have your camera settings, you have a couple adjustable buttons A and B here, and then you also have your zoom and focus control button to switch between them. Now, on the back of this gimbal is a trigger. So just like the last one, this locks the gimbal, so whenever you're moving, it locks it in motion, and then when you let go, you can go back to your follow modes. So this gimbal is set up so you have a lot of different buttons at your fingertips and this one also does the vertical mode if you want to do that but let's just test how stable this gimbal is compared to you know the non-pro version. <laughs> It's very similar to the original Vilta, just with a bunch of added features. Like I said, you have access to all the things that you would want on the handle, which makes it a very usable gimbal. And I actually like it a lot more than working with the Smooth 4. I did a big review on the Smooth 4 in the past, and that gimbal's all right. I still was not the biggest fan of it. This one, the experience, I do like Free Vision. I am a fan of these gimbals because all of them are built pretty well. And so far, my experience working with them has been good. So the next gimbal we're gonna go over is this one. And this is a tiny foldable gimbal, and this was a crowdfunded gimbal, so. This one is supposed to be like pocket size, so you can stick this in your pocket. It's kind of nice, it folds up nice and small. Okay, so you can clip out the handle, pull it out, and it's called Fun Blue. So essentially, that is the gimbal. Now, out of all these, this one feels the most cheaply made. It just feels like a hunk of plastic, like not a good hunk of plastic either. But let's test it, let's see how good the footage is. Unfortunately, not the most impressed with this one, and so far, this is probably the lowest on the totem pole. 
Okay, so I have one more gimbal that I want to show you guys, and that is the Fiutech G6 Plus. Now, this is not a gimbal made for smartphones, but it is a smaller gimbal that you can use your smartphones on. And the reason I wanted to put this in with all these other gimbals is that this one allows you to put heavier products on it. So you can put your phone with a moment lens on it and you can still get a stable shot. Now the rest of these gimbals, you can't do that. It throws off the balance too much and you just can't get a stable shot. So I'm gonna show you what the footage looks like with this. And if you want to see more of a review about this gimbal, I'll put a link down below in the description because I did a video entirely about this gimbal because I think this is a great option for small cameras. Now in terms of size, this is about the same size as these other gimbals except for that fun blue foldable one, but this sits about the same size in your pack. So that's why it's a great competitor against these other ones. And if you're using bigger lenses and you wanna put heavier gear, or you wanna use other products like other cameras and your GoPro, your small mirrorless camera, then this is a good option because you could switch between your cameras. Now you don't have an app like the other ones, you're not gonna have options to do the tracking and all that, but for me, I just use the Moment app and I don't worry about tracking because I don't really use it anyways. Okay, so which gimbal is the winner out of all five of these gimbals? Well, there's not a clear one winner. I definitely think the free vision gimbals are interesting and I enjoy working with them. The Pro is great if you want access to all those features. The SC is great just for quick grab and go getting smooth shots. Now, if you wanna have a gimbal that you can use other cameras on, then I highly suggest checking out the G6 Plus. I'll put a link down in the description to my full review around that gimbal. The Vimble number two was okay, not my favorite. The Fun Blue. No, wouldn't go for that one. But guys, there's a ton of smartphone gimbals on the market. And I'll put a link down below in the description to two other comparisons that I did where I tested a ton of smartphone gimbals. And I highly suggest you check out those videos as well to see some other gimbal options before you go out there and make your purchase. But guys, that is it. I'll see you on the next one. So what do you think about this one? Seems broken. I don't know. Oh, I gotta turn it on. <laughs>